all right so um in this session basically we are going to talk about installation of pega pega personal edition now pega basically offers personal edition not for enterprise use pega personal edition pega pe personal edition to every user registered with pega.com it's free of cost uh, there is no licensing problem of course there is a public license issued against that as well but um, it is available to everyone without any cost and anyone can download it and install on their uh, system this is supported on windows only so you will have to uh, basically get this done um, for the windows only if you want to download it just go to my.pega.com my.pega.com and there you will find a link for software and that's where you can uh, you will find a link to download the personal edition it is always available once your account is verified so what exactly is the personal edition see personal edition um, is different than the enterprise edition of course personal edition comes with everything that you need to run it on a local machine whereas enterprise uh, if we talk about any normal enterprise uh, pega deployment of course there will be a different database there will be database there will be server that organization will have to choose all right so let's talk about what is included in the pega personal edition so the first thing that you should worry about or you should you already probably know that to in order to run any application or software first thing that you need is application server now this pega personal edition package that uh, it actually comes with tomcat tomcat as an application server now you will need uh, basically for the same purpose in order to run any application you need something called database as well database you will need a database too now the personal edition is packaged with postgres database it is packaged with the postgres database base these two are provided as part of the personal edition all right so the tomcat will get installed first on that the database uh, on that the post uh, sorry pega after that of course you will need to have the pega application or the software this is part of the application as well the uh, package that we download from the personal uh, from the pega.com so that will be installed on the tomcat okay now pega is um, basically you need to understand how does pega works so pega code the pega engine itself it is stored into database that's why database is very essential for pega application to run not just to run and execute the business processes but even for the platform pega code reside in the database there is a schema that gets created and it is called pega rules this schema contains the code for pega platform along with whatever you develop as a code your custom application All those codes that you will develop, you will import, export, uh, import, basically, they all are going to be into the Pega implementation, Pega rules database, okay, schema. There will be one more schema called Pega data. That's where all the cases that you will execute, the runtime data, actually, the data will go into. There's one more schema that will be created. It is called customer data, which is to store flat. We will talk about that later too. Uh, flat schema. So certain, what is that? Let me just quickly run you guys through. So for example, address. Now address is a property which can have uh, basically line number one, line number two, line number uh, street,
and various other aspects, state, country, and all that. Now a customer, customer might have first name, last name, and then address. Address is also collection. Now, if you need to store it into a table, how will you store it? Address is a group of property, not a single column. So when you have embedded properties, we usually go with the Pega data. But in some situation, we have just a flat table, right? For example, product name, product cost and all that. There's no embedded properties. That's where we use customer data schema for the flat tables or also flat tables. No embedded properties. Or we also basically call it for external, external database as well. Those embedded properties are stored as a blob. We will discuss about that. At this point of time, just this introduction is enough. Okay. External DB. Right. So the Pega installation package contains Tomcat, Postgres, and a Pega application itself. Um, you will download basically the personal edition is a zip file. You extract it into a file. So I have extracted, it is 8.7 personal edition. I've extracted it here. You open this and you will find uh, basically, sorry, just a minute, install bat. Click on that and it will launch a UI, okay? So, Remember I, what I said first it will install the Tomcat then it will install the database because Pega cannot be put into uh, anything uh, anywhere else Pega code resides in the database so Tomcat then database and then it will start loading the code into the database the code is basically included into PRPC personal edition jar this has the Pega code this jar file will be read read and loaded into the Pega rules. Okay. So we'll see that. So this UI installation UI is getting loaded. <clears throat> All right. So this is the Pega personal edition installation UI prerequisite that uh, you should go with the PDN means Pega developer community. That's again community.pega.com can read it this is the license agreement you cannot use it for a corporate purpose you should only use it for your learning purpose you should not use it for any commercial purpose so it is going to initialize okay of course the installation initialization has already happened it's going to install the database server then load the pega platform into the database create the desktop shortcut and then launch the pega platform this is what it is going to do you need to choose the directory where you want to install uh, by default C you can choose any other directory if you wish to I will continue with the C database Tom uh, Postgres is a database the default server uh, port for that is uh, 5432 and Tomcat default port is 8080 you can check the port availability whether it is available or not you might have installed any other instance or any other software that might have taken this port so check the port availability if it is available then click on next and start be just carefully read this of course it will take 5 10 minutes to install it but see the first thing is it is extracting the uh, installation artifact then it will start <coughs> building the tomcat so it might take a few minutes so we will pause at the moment uh, let the installation complete first yes all right, so after the installation, you will see that, okay, build successful, rule-based load complete. This means that the Pekka has been installed successfully. Now, if you go back on the top, so what Pekka did, what this installation wizard did, okay? So it actually installed the DB server first. When that is done, um, it actually did some settings on the DB server and then it is started the database server when the database server got started this is the command by the way then it started 
uh, once this is it actually connected to the DB and alter some role and all that is setting up the user for Pega. Um, once that is all done, then it actually restarted the Pega after making all those uh, basically DDL changes and then it started loading Pega roles. It created tables and then it started loading roles into that. Okay. This continued uh, basically till the bottom. And it will do indexing, read, and indexing of those table multiple times. And finally, this will be finished, right? Then it will uh, restart the Tomcat, and all those things will happen. Okay. It will create two um, two icons here: startup, login, and shutdown. Uh, your server might have already started up. Uh, you can basically exit from here. This is done. This is done. Otherwise, you can start Tomcat and Pega from the startup. Okay, it will start Tomcat. Once it started, you will be able to. Uh, you can click on the login. This is just a uh, basically URL shortcut. Localhost 8080 PR Web is the Pega application and PR servlet. The installation is happening. Let that uh, basically happen. Um, sorry, not installation. The starting and it will launch the Pega. It will uh, start the Pega application. But let me show you something on the installation directory. Uh, some configuration. So this is where installation has happened. This is the Tomcat. Tomcat has web apps as a base directory. PR web is the war file that got deployed and it created the directory basically pr web directory oh it's still being deployed it's not deployed it pr web directory will come up here okay all right so once uh, that is there we will see that okay so that's the pega application okay pega software certain information uh, basically about how pega is connecting to the database and all that so under tomcat you have configuration folder under the configuration folder you have context.xml if you open the context.xml you will see the database connection string i told you guys right we need uh, pega rules and pega data two very critical so pega rules uh, is being defined here right rules schema pega rules and pega data and this all uh, basically this is using the same connection which is uh, jdbc connection with the postgres this is the postgres jdbc url okay for the local host the postgres is installed on our local machine this is the driver this is the username this is the password to connect the database same database basically uh, is being used for the PRPC, Pega rules and Pega data. Okay, both the same the connection is being used. Okay, so this is where we define the database credentials and database settings. We must usually use JNDI, but this is one of the way. Okay, um, server.xml you have this is these are Tomcat by the way, this is not Pega, these are Tomcat configuration files. That's where you uh, define basically how to access uh, which port to access application and things like that. For example, localhost web app is the root directory. In order to access that application, the default port is the connector port is 8080. You can change it from here. The other important stuff is the Tom uh, basically once web app. Okay, PR web is now deployed. So you see the directory bevinf and classes that's where the pega pr config xml exists every configuration related settings you can do in the pega pr pc uh, sorry pr config xml okay uh, you can define the database here connection string here as well if you define it on the tomcat everyone is going to use that the tomcat one but if you want to have a separate one uh, for the database you can define it here it will be specific to pega rules application pega application only okay um there is web.xml file that you will see here under the webin of the pr web this is the file where we define the servlet uh, to access the pega right when you launch the pega basically um, 
local host PR servlet. Now this is defined. The servlet gives you the authentication mechan uh, authentication profile and all those stuff. We will learn later. But these are the settings done here. Okay, in the web.xml file, how to access the application. So these are the basic uh, information that you needed to know basically for your Pega application. So we started the application. Um, the Pega is starting. So see, the Pega is still starting up. We will have to give it a few minutes before it gets started, and then we can access the Pega from here. So give it a minute or so. Mahesh, one minute. I'm getting 